few weeks ago, we talked about a scam that was circulating the cruise industry. And unfortunately, there's another one that you need to know about. Hey everyone, what is up? This is Jordan from JJ Cruise. Unfortunately, we're talking about another new scam that is going on. It is hitting cruisers left and right, and this is actually the first time it's happened to someone that I'm on board a cruise ship with. The scam is a Facebook scam, and we're gonna get into talking about it. I'm gonna share exactly what happened to the cruiser that we are on this ship with right now, but before we get into it, I do just wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel. All we do here at JJ Cruise is cruise. It's in the title of the channel name. If you like cruising as much as Jared and I do, we invite you to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I know for many of you, you take one cruise a year or maybe one cruise every few years and it's a dream vacation. The one thing that can ruin your cruise and kind of stop it in the tracks is if you end up getting scammed. And unfortunately, we talked about this in our Costa Maya video a few weeks back. Cruisers in the port of Costa Maya have been getting scammed left and right by a taxi scam that is happening there. There was a lot of comments that let us know that it's either happened to you or you knew about this scam or that the scam has been going on for a while. Well, the scam that we're gonna talk about today is not necessarily a new scam, but I think we've seen it happen a lot more frequently since the restart of cruising and since the pandemic. And it's a scam that happens in Facebook groups. Now, if you don't know, Facebook groups are a major tool for cruisers. It's a way for people to connect before going on a cruise, plan activities, events, maybe meetups or a bar crawl, maybe a slot poll. Lots of different things happen in Facebook groups. If you don't know what a Facebook group for a cruise is, go into Facebook, type in the name of your ship and the date that it sails, and more than likely there will be a page that will pop up or a group that will pop up that you can join. After answering a few questions, typically the question, are you on this sailing? You click, uh, yes, you are on that sailing, and then the admins will let you in. So for this cruise that we're on, it's Independence of the Seas, and we left on April 13th. There was a Facebook group for this uh, sailing that I did join, and I always try to join our Facebook group sailings that we're in just to get information and find out who's there on the cruise. Sometimes I'm surprised and we see friends that we haven't seen in a while in that cruise group. But I joined the one for this sailing and I've been following it for a couple of weeks prior to getting on board. Yesterday, unfortunately, I saw someone put this question up and I'm gonna share this screenshot because it's just an unfortunate situation. But basically this cruiser is just asking, hey, does anyone know or has anyone heard from the person that's selling the shot glasses for this particular sailing? I PayPal'd them money or sent them money and I never heard back from them and they ghosted me. As soon as I saw this, I knew exactly what had happened to this cruiser. And unfortunately, it's not the first time that it has happened. It's been happening a lot. And I've seen it in other Facebook groups. But what is happening is scammers are infiltrating these Facebook groups, selling items, specifically merch items for your cruise, maybe a, a t-shirt, a shot glass, maybe a, a camera case. There's, I've seen all kinds of stuff that say your ship, your sail date, and then some type of clip art that is on there. So in this particular case, it was a shot glass that had a little ship on it that said Independence of the Seas, April 13th, 2024. And this person is actively selling them, claiming that if you send me the money, I will bring all of this merch on board. I will pass it out. I'll give it to whoever's on board. And then, you know, we can all have this amazing, cool thing to go home with. The problem is that person never makes it on board with the merch that they are selling. And the ultimate problem is, is because the merch was never actually real. There are some scammers that take this a step further and say, I'm selling t-shirts or I'm selling mugs or thermoses for my child that is sick or has cancer. And the only way that we can afford to go on this cruise is if we sell a hundred of these items um, and I'm gonna bring them to the ship. And if you could do this for me, it would be great. Now, unfortunately, these are also scams and it's happening in almost every Facebook group. And you have to remember, the admins of the Facebook groups are just people like you or me. They're not people that can always be on top of this 24 seven and be looking out for this, especially when you've got a thousand plus people in a Facebook group. So you have to be your own detective. You have to 
use your spidey senses to be able to weed out these scammers and know that most likely they aren't real. Why has this become such a big deal and why are people falling for it? That's because five years ago, this was actually common. When I started cruising back in 2016, the Facebook groups back then would have people that would be bringing things on board to sell and share with others. Actually, a recent sailing that I just came from did actually have this happen. Someone made stuff, they sold it, they brought it on board for everyone, and they were completely legit. And I think this is what's so tough about this topic is because those people that are genuinely excited about merch and bringing things on board, they're the ones that are ultimately really getting screwed because they can't do this anymore. It's created a mistrust for people that are genuinely trying to do something good or something fun, something completely harmless. But because of these terrible scammers out there, it's causing this mistrust for everybody. So here is what I recommend doing. First off, never ever send money to people online that you do not know. That does kind of seem like a basic rule for just internet etiquette, I guess, or internet safety. However, like I said, people used to do this all the time, so it didn't used to be the deal that it is today. Maybe if someone is wanting to sell something or bring some merch, you say, hey, this is awesome. I would like one of these products, but I can only bring you cash when we're on the ship and meet up in person. If on the flip side, you're someone that does like to do this and make things or provide things for the cruise, you should be okay with accepting cash because you're not a scammer and you're someone that's genuinely providing a service to other cruisers that are going on the same ship and sail date as you. A second thing that you can do is help the admins out of these Facebook groups. If you see some suspicious activity on a Facebook group or you see something that just doesn't seem legit, raise a red flag to the admin, let them know what's going on in the group so that they can tackle the issue quickly so that it doesn't impact other cruisers or people in the Facebook group right away. As the old saying goes, if you see something, say something. I'm a huge advocate for community. Obviously, we've built this community here online of our JJ crew. So I think things like merch or swag or different things for your sailing, I think it's awesome. And I really do think that it is a great way to bring people together if you've got matching shirts or cups on board. But I do think that you need to use your discernment and your judgment when you're in these Facebook groups with strangers who you haven't met yet. Don't let this happen to you because I know for a fact it is happening every single day on Facebook in Facebook groups around the world. Now I turn this to you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Has this ever happened to you? Have you seen this scam in your Facebook group? I know I've seen it in several of mine. Let me know in the comments exactly what you've seen for sale or, or if you've been scammed or what you think of this entire ordeal. As always, we thank you for watching the video, subscribing and hitting the thumbs up. There's a lot of Independence of the Seas content coming on the channel later this month. So if you're looking for that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And again, I am Jordan from JJ Cruise. Until next time, see ya.